everybody. Here we are at Max's Garage Mahal. We were inside doing a little work. We heard a commotion out here. We thought we'd come outside and see what it was. By the time we dropped what we were doing and got outside, we heard a big old truck sound like come up in the drive. And wasn't here very long and took off. So we got outside probably a few seconds and the truck was going up the road and it was a uh, delivery truck. So we thought we'd find out what they delivered. Looked outside and sure enough, right down here. Now I've already cut the straps on it because I started shooting this once and guess what? Camera kicked out of gear so I guess I'm going to have to rebuild the transmission in it. <laughs> anyway, there we are. That's what we got. So I've cut the straps on it. These came from Mass Depot. They are a 22 by 11 by 10 Mass FX. SL106. All right, let's see if we can get the name up here for you. Mass FX SL106 22 by 11 by 10. Suckers are hosses now. Look at that. All right, we're going to get these things inside for you so you can take a look at them next to the lawnmower. And uh, we'll bring out the original Grassmaster tire, show you the Grassmaster show you this tire and show you the tire that's on it we'll give you some comparisons and we want to thank Mass Depot real quickly for helping us out with these videos and um, man they make a good looking tire it really is so we'll be right back inside okay we're indoors and we've got the tire set up here we have the world land speed record holding tire right there on a Hustler Raptor, that's the Mass FX AT 23 by 11 by 10 World Land Speed Record Holder, right there. All right. Beside that, in between the original tire, is the Mass FX SL 106, and we're going to get you some measurements on it. We've had some people in the Hustler Motor Owners Group say, "Well, they're not as wide because the numbers are smaller." Well. That's not the way tires work, as people know and should know if they don't. Tire numbers are relative to the manufacturer, not to the industry. Uh, the 22 is supposed to be the diameter. The On this particular tire, 11 is the cross section of the rim or and or base of the tire, and 10 is the third number is the wheel mounting diameter so this 23 by 11 by 10 is actually 24 and 5 8 inches tall 24 and 5 8 inches tall this Hustler Raptor and we're going to give you this information it's not really relative except if you're going to go with these larger tires and I love that tire but I'm going to maintain that just for our world land speed record attempts uh, as we go forward. So I'm going to keep it nice and pretty. This tire required to have a Hustler Raptor, it had to have a body and fuel tank lift kit. So there sets the world's first body lift and fuel lift kit on a Hustler Raptor SD. So Let's go on to this tire and get some measurements. And we'll also give you the measurements on this. This bottom tire here, the smaller tire, is a Grassmaster original equipment tire for XL Industries Hustler Turf and Big Dog Mowers. It is a 20 by 12 by 10, 20 inch diameter. However, it's only actually 19.1 inches. 19.1 inches. The next tire, we haven't measured it, but as you know, if you don't have a Max's Garage Mahal tape measure, you need one. So we're going to take that Max's Garage Mahal tape measure, and we're going to do a diameter test on this thing real quickly, without air pressure, without mounting, and it is 20 and 3 quarter, and that's without air in it, without it being mounted. All right, this little sucker right here, off the rim, not mounted, is 18 inches. 
So that's off the rim. Okay. So let's go over these numbers. 18. This is 20 and 3 quarter, and that's 20 mounted is 24 and 3 quarter. 5 eighths to 3 quarter. So what do we gain here? When we go up from this tire, this looks extremely wide. Why does it look extremely wide? The height to width ratio on the smaller tire, the shorter it is, it looks wider to the eye. Uh, now let's do another measurement here. This tire is nine and a half. This tire is nine and a half. And this tire is nine and a half. So people says the bigger tire, the taller tire, is narrower than the shorter tire. If they all measure nine and a half inches across the tread, wouldn't that mean they're all it's sort of like the old question, which is heavier, a pound of feathers or a pound of lead? If you drop a pound of lead and a pound of feathers from a thousand feet out of an airplane, which one will hit the ground first? I can't answer that question. All right. But if they're all nine and a half inches wide, the only difference I can see between the tires is you gain rollout or tire diameter because you've got the same width, but you've got a larger diameter. With the smaller diameter, that means it takes more RPM to go, let's say you want to go 10 feet. It takes more gasoline to go 10 feet with that tire than it does with the middle tire. The reason for that is because the middle tire is rotating less times in 360 degrees than this tire, which is shorter, it requires more rotation. And then the middle tire requires more rotation than the larger tire because we have gained another two and three quarter inches. So if this helps you out to learn the difference between these tires, um, I'm going to make sure I post this in the Huster Moore group because there are people that that doesn't understand the difference between width, height, and the numerical system on tires because numerical system on tires are not standardized neither in this country nor around the, the globe so I want to answer another question real quickly before I think the people have helping me with these videos again uh, I've been asked about these sticks on these mowers and real quickly so that our uh, mower sports people <laughs> understand uh, how to adjust these things. Let me pan around here real quickly and zoom in. All right. When you adjust these sticks, you want these things in neutral and part, which is right there. All right. That's pretty tight fit on that stick. So another way to adjust these sticks is to take a stick, a straight stick, it don't, you don't want a curved stick. Bring these things over to neutral. Now you're going to have a little slack right there. It's very, very little. If your board is in good shape and you've got the spring set up good and tight, before you make these adjustments, take your stick and clamp it right here across, just like this, and then you've got two bolts right here on your sticks. If your lawnmower is not tracking left or right, then you probably only need to adjust your sticks. So what you're going to do is you have two bolts right here. You're going to adjust, you're going to loosen these two bolts. Whichever one is further back, take your, after you loosen it, pull the one that's further forward back and clamp your stick across here two clamps on either side, get these sticks straight, tighten these things up like your life depended on it, because these will loosen up. And you probably notice I've got my sticks where they actually will touch so I can operate this more with one hand. And sometimes I video with with the camera and the, and the machine operating. So be sure to tighten these up really, really well. 
won't hurt to put a little Loctite on. And uh, be sure before you try to start it, you put your sticks back in park. Okay, so real quickly, I want to thank Mass Depot. And i got to do one thing before I go any further. Let me grab something because I owe them. Alrighty. I want to thank Mass Depot. And I told them I would be getting their, uh, their clock, which that's the Mass Depot clock that was manufactured by Max's Garage Mahal, to make sure that you see their logo. These are fantastic people. They do their best to, to service their customers on a quick, friendly basis. And so far, I have not heard one complaint. I'm very, very pleased to be um, working with Mass Depot. They don't pay me for these videos. I want to I wanna let you know they don't pay me for these things. I want to endorse these people because not only did they step up to give my viewers, subscribers, uh, my lawnmower group, and I'm going to announce something that I haven't really launched yet. It's up and it's operational and it's uh, been tested and it's going right along. And that's the Hustler Mower Owners Forum. Uh, it will also encompass the Big Dog Manufacturers brand. Uh, we're going to make a forum specific probably to each lawnmower company. Um, so we just want to let you know that that's coming. So the redundancy of asking the same question hundreds of times and you having to answer them hundreds of times, that forum will help you uh, just go directly to the heading that you asked that question in and go on. So again, Mass Depot sells something I want you to be very, very aware of. And in my opinion, this is my opinion, it's the world's fastest flowing fuel can. It is the Fuel Works. You can get this, pick this up at Mass Depot. Um, you won't believe how fast this one's empty. <laughs> I've already used the gas out of it. Um, it is, I think, the world's fastest flowing fuel can. And let's uh, let's make sure that you see what their logo looks like. Because if you see this logo, you can buy that can. So go by Mass Depot, take a look at their products. They have wheels, tires, they have tools, batteries, um, motorcycle tires, you name it. Mass Depot, guys. Go by and tell them Max sent you from Max's Garage Mahal. You can get a discount on top of your purchase, which they've already discounted the tires, and they're the the least expensive tires I found on the market go directly to MassDepot.com and if you purchase a tire or tool, motorcycle tire, chemicals, racing oil, doesn't matter what it is they sell, be sure and take your MGM code, discount code, because it will give you, I think it's 8%, maybe 10, but I believe it's 8%. Be sure and get that discount on your purchase. We appreciate you all coming by Max's Garage Mahal, and we hope you come back. Be sure and subscribe, hit that like button, uh, hit that notification bell so that you'll see the next videos coming out, and uh, be sure and say hello to Mass Depot. Go by Twitter, go by Instagram, say hello, say hello to Fuel Works, and uh, let them know that you've seen the videos, and we appreciate you all once again stopping by Max's Garage Mahal. Y'all come back and see us now, you hear?